Hey guys, we need to talk about the number one cause of car crashes, and I'm not talking about cell phones, texting, and all that silly stuff. I'm pretty sure you know that's very important to stay off your phone while you're driving. I'm actually talking about some of the most overlooked things that cause people to crash. You know that your tires actually have a job? I'm serious. Most people seem to allow their tires to become dry rotted, cracked, I'm worn out, wear unevenly, they don't realize that yes, with a good set of tires, you can stop twice as fast, not to mention headlights. I know everybody likes the LEDs, that's great, but when you're using just some rando pair of lights off the internet, you do realize, unless it's fitted by a major company, there's a good possibility that it's actually going to change the beam. When it does that, it's going to be blinding oncoming traffic. Try to keep others in mind. This is really important. Please, change your brakes. I mean, it's really simple. Or guess what? Find someone you trust. Allow them to do it. It really makes a big difference. When you're going up large hills or mountains and your brakes are literally down to the nubs, guess what's going to happen? you're going to end up being in an accident. You definitely don't want this. Or any obstructions in the window. This happens many times. People are hanging things from the window, um, whether it's things for scent, whether it's radar detectors, many things of that nature. I'm bad for it myself. But you need a clear view. Guys, clean your windows. People really allow their windows to get really dirty. And you wouldn't believe visibility or well you should believe. I mean, it's absolutely key to saving your life. I mean, it could take just a fraction of a second. Have you ever been in an accident and said to yourself, wow, just one small change and you could avoid an enormous amount of problems? Well, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So please guys, make sure to check your tires, see if they're good. There's many checks or videos that I've done to show you how to check these properly. Add the right amount of pressure, so forth, so on. I have videos on all those things. So guys, please, stay safe. You know winter's coming. You know what to do in bad situations. Don't be using your cruise control in really bad snow or wet roads. This could cause a lot of problems. I love cruise control myself, but that's not what I'm going to do in bad conditions. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and please drop down in the comments and let us know what some of the things that I have not mentioned that you know that would really help people out that most people overlook. Well, have a great one, guys.